Here in the Daily Lab at Children's Hospital Boston, we're really dedicated to learning as much as we can about stem cells. Stem cells are the things in your body that replace and repair tissue as it's damaged from disease or just normal wear and tear. There are lots of different kinds of stem cells depending upon what tissue we're talking about. The bone marrow has stem cells, the skin has stem cells. That ability that stem cells have to replace and repair tissue is what makes them so important to study. The difference between cells in the body, a bone cell and a heart cell, for example, is what genes they have turned on and turned off. A lot of what the lab works on now involves what's called cellular reprogramming. And this is basically a way to take any cell and we're able to push them developmentally backwards to become much more primitive types of cells. And since those cells come from the patient and again have the same disease-causing mutations, now we're able to study the underpinnings, the foundational aspects of those very rare conditions. And this is incredibly powerful. For a lot of these rare diseases, we've used mice or fish over the years to try to understand how that basic biology works. But there are certain genes or certain diseases that humans have that, that you really can't model very well in those organisms. And so to really study those, you need human cells. And so we take advantage of, of just about everything that's available to us, embryonic stem cells, bone marrow stem cells, cord blood stem cells, to have everything on the table to understand as much as possible about these diseases. Right now, there are many conditions that are treatable with cellular transplantation, with, with bone marrow or cord blood stem cell transplants. But for many people, as many as two-thirds of all individuals who would benefit from having that type of stem cell transplant, they simply have no donor. And so figuring out a way for the patient to be their own donor is, is really a very important goal of this program. A term that's often discussed is translational research. And what that basically means is bench to bedside, taking findings from basic research laboratories like this one and figuring out whatever we can about the conditions, whether it's the basic biology or new therapies that might be beneficial and moving them actually into the, the part of the hospital where the patients are to improve basic health. The types of problems we're talking about are incredibly complex. They're well beyond the scope of what any individual laboratory can do. That's why I think that uh, a program like the stem cell program here at Children's Hospital Boston is so powerful because it brings multiple individuals together to tackle these tough issues. And not just within our own program, but we collaborate with investigators around the country and around the world so that that information can improve therapies for a lot of different people.